Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all doing this Wednesday? Welcome back to my channel, and thank you, everyone, for being here this afternoon. Here is your daily news report and fourth stimulus check update. I have wonderful news, everyone. There are new stimulus checks that are arriving this week. In today's video, I will be going over how much stimulus money you can receive this very week, as well as what the Senate has decided to include into the infrastructure bill. This coming Friday, I will be announcing three more winners of my Amazon gift card giveaway. Please enter the giveaway by subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and also leaving a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone. Millions of Americans are about to receive another stimulus payment from the IRS. Those payments are scheduled to arrive in bank accounts and mailboxes this coming Friday, August 13th. This is the second of what will be six payments from the federal government. This is more of the federal child tax credit that was expanded with the American Rescue Plan that was signed into law by President Biden back in March of 2021. That law delivered $1,400 payments directly to most taxpayers. Previous payments delivered $1,200 and $600. This payment only goes out to people with children. So if you have a child under the age of 17, you will most likely receive a check. Most payers do not need to do anything to get a payment. Some people will fall outside the eligibility requirements. The maximum payout will depend on your modified adjusted gross income. $75,000 or less for singles, $112,500 or less for heads of household, and $150,000 or less for married couples who are filing a joint return. Another round of payments will deliver the same amount of money as the first payment. Parents with children under the age of 6 will receive payments of $300. Families with children aged between 6 and 17 years old will receive $250. Families will get the same amount of money next year, but it will be delivered to bank accounts and mailboxes in one lump sum. President Joe Biden celebrated the Senate's passage of a historic, sweeping $1.2 trillion bipartisan package on Tuesday which is a step toward fulfilling a key item in his legislative agenda that also amounts to the biggest bipartisan win of his presidency so far. We're uh, taking action to address gas prices as well. Today, gas prices are lower than they were early in this decade, but they're still high enough to create a pinch on working families. One key thing about the infrastructure bill that just passed the Senate is there are no gas tax increases. No gas tax increases. I made that absolutely clear that I would not raise gas taxes. I'm glad everyone in the Senate seemed to agree with that. But that's not enough. Recently, we've seen the price that oil companies pay for a barrel of oil begin to fall. But the cost of gasoline is at the pump for more American people hasn't fallen. That's not what you'd expect in a competitive market. I want to make sure that nothing stands in the way of oil price declines leading to lower prices for consumers. So today, my director of the, economic, the National Economic Council has asked the chair of the Federal Trade Commission to use every available tool to monitor the U.S. gasoline market and address any illegal conduct that might be, connect, might be contributing to price increases at the pump while the cost of barrel oil is going down. We also made clear to OPEC, the major oil exporting nations of the world, that the production cuts made during the pandemic should be reversed as the global economic as the global economy recovers in order to lower prices for consumers. President Biden, standing alongside Vice President Kamala Harris, said he never believed critics who have characterized his calls to implement policies in a bipartisan way, a relic of an earlier age. The president thanks senators on both sides of the aisle for working together to get the bill passed, saying, I know it was not easy for the Republicans who supported this bill. You showed a lot of courage, and I want to personally thank you for that, and I have called most of you on the phone to do just that. The bill passed in the Senate by a wide bipartisan majority of 69 to 30, with 19 Republicans voting for the bill. This bill would provide $110 billion to repair the nation's aging highways, bridges, and roads. According to the White House, 173,000 total miles of America's highways and major roads and 45,000 bridges are in poor condition. 
and the almost $40 billion for bridges is the single largest dedicated bridge investment since the construction of the interstate highway system. The $39 billion for public transit in the legislation would expand transportation systems, improve accessibility for people with disabilities, and provide dollars to state and local governments to buy zero emission and low emission buses. The Department of Transportation estimates that the current repair backlog is more than 24,000 buses, 5,000 rail cars, 200 stations, and thousands of miles of track and power systems. The legislation's $65 billion for broadband access would aim to improve internet services for rural areas, low-income families, and tribal communities. Most of the money would be made available through grants to states. To improve the safety of the nation's drinking water, the legislation would spend $55 billion on water and wastewater infrastructure. The bill would also include $15 billion to replace lead pipes and $10 billion to address water contamination. Right now, many lawmakers want a fourth round of stimulus payments for all Americans. Relief payments were intended to ease and support the economy in the process. The third round of relief payments started back in March of 2020 courtesy of the American Rescue Plan. But since then, about 169 million people have received up to $1,400 each. The third round of relief payments started back in March was courtesy of the American Rescue Plan. Since then, about 169 million people have received up to $1,400 each, including another 2.3 million last month. That accounts for most of the $422 billion set aside. The American Rescue Plan checks closely followed the $600 payments from January, which came nine months after the $1,200 payments from the crisis early days. They seem to have worked, but have also helped many who did not actually need the money. So everyone, what do you think that the income thresholds should be for the next round of stimulus payments? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you everyone, that's the end of the video for this afternoon. I hope you found this video helpful. I greatly appreciate you joining me here today. Remember that this coming Friday, I will be announcing three winners of my Amazon gift card giveaway. To enter my giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and also like this video. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a very blessed Wednesday.